So today I wanted to talk about this big monster 36 inch uh, Sony TV I've got sitting here. That's the back for it. Here's the big monster of the TV sitting right here. It weighs about 250 pounds. And the standby light is just continuously blinking. Nine times. I can reach up and try to press the power button. It just re-interrupts the blink cycle. So it's just blinking nine blinks. There's never a relay click when I press the button either, and that's a telltale sign of the problem with this TV. Nine blinks and no relay click. Now the problem that I've had on these sets, just because I'm familiar with it, and I've done several of these for this repair, um, there's these two diodes, D645 and D647. Well, there's D647. And then here's D645. And it's all part of what they call the zero cross detect circuit, which is right here. There's the output, Z detect is what it says. And what this does, it looks at the incoming AC line to make sure it's stable and at the right frequency. So let's go ahead and replace these two diodes and I'll show you where they are in the circuit as well. So here's the chassis out of the TV. I've got it just laying kind of sideways underneath here so I can get access to it. It's these two little diodes right down in here. D647 and D645 right there. Pay particular attention to anode and cathode. They need to go in the right direction when you replace these things. So I'm just going to go ahead and uh, zip those out and pop a couple new ones in there. Uh, nothing to be too uh, terribly particular about they're just standard rectifier diodes. They're not on a high frequency circuit. They operate at, at 60 hertz, so you don't need to go out and get special diodes. Um, I use whatever I have on hand. Typically, it's like a 1N4001 type diode. Uh, these ones that I have are just called RL207s. I think they're uh, 2 amp at 1,000 volts. Just happen to have a bag of them laying around here. So I'm going to go ahead and change those, and we'll see what happens. So here's the old diodes compared to the new ones. Uh, the new ones are much physically larger than the old ones are. Like I said, these are just RL207s that I'm putting in here. And uh, it's just a good all around general purpose rectifier. So there's the new diodes in the circuit. I had to stand them up because they, they won't fit laying down in there. So I just wanted to show you that. And um, let's go ahead and we'll just try to fire it up as it sits back here. There's the power button. Heard the relay click. Heard the high voltage start. This little red light should stop blinking after the CRT comes up and the Kinney bias is set. There it's done. Let's take a walk around to the front of the TV and see what we got. We got snow on the screen, so that means that's good. I have the degaussing coil unplugged right now, so that's why it's messed up in the corner like that. So let me go ahead and plug that in, and we'll get a picture on it and finish the job. All right, so here we go. I've got the remote. You can hear the click. It's doing what it's supposed to do. We've got sound. We've got the picture on it. Everything's working just fine. So let me go ahead and I'm going to shut it off. I'm going to bring up the self-check menu real quick and show you. And by doing that, it's uh, with the TV off, press display, the number 5, volume down, and then power. So you can see on here, Number nine, zero cross detector, registered 255 errors. So these people who own this TV just kept trying and trying and trying to get this thing to work. So let's reset this. Resetting on this model is done by pressing eight and enter, and that resets it.
Now it's ready for it to a complete reset. All right, so here's our TV all ready to go after the reset, and I had to do an auto program. But uh, just to show you the self-diagnostic again, the uh, zero cross detect is back down to zero. No errors now. So that's working great. Got another happy customer. Plus saved another TV from the landfill. And this is a big one, 250 pounds approximately on this 36-inch Sony. And uh, they really have great pictures on them. Uh, too bad this, this model's not a high-definition TV. It's only a, a standard F and doesn't have a digital tuner in it. But uh, nevertheless, a good TV, great for playing, uh, uh, playing the Wii on or something like that. Uh, CRT uh, TVs are extremely good for playing video games on, uh, primarily for the fact that they have a, uh, basically a zero millisecond uh, delay. They actually measure the delay in microseconds on these TVs as opposed to the newer LCD TVs that may have a um, uh, 50 to 100 millisecond delay and that means from the time that you move your controller there's potentially up to the t a tenth of a second lag before you see it move on the screen so very frustrating for gameplay but these CRT TVs uh, have no lag time whatsoever there's uh, no digital video processing so it doesn't take time to process the video Anyhow, I hope you enjoyed this video, and um, like I said, hopefully we saved some TVs from the trash, and uh, keep watching. Thank you.